Video Fit Solutions back with another video. Today we're going to take a look at why Earth is a mere grain of salt when it comes to the universe. Please like, share, and subscribe to Where in the World is Frank and Gina on YouTube. In the modern era with intercontinental air flight travel, I believe you can get a pretty good idea for how big the Earth is. After all, we can circumnavigate the globe in less than two days, and astronauts can do it in 90 minutes. But what about other objects in our own neighborhood? Our own neighborhood as in space. If the Earth were the size of a grain of sand, the sun would be about the size of a pool ball. The moon barely visible speck of dust at this scale would orbit our tiny grain-sized planet. Our galaxy is called the Milky Way, which includes our solar system with the name describing the galaxy's appearance from Earth, a hazy band of light seen in the night sky formed from stars that cannot be individually distinguished by the naked eye. While future space travel may enable man to travel interplanetary, there are some places that are unimaginable to be able to travel to. In the outer reaches of our own solar system, we have our planet Jupiter, which is the largest planet in our solar system, but a mere drop in the universal scale. In the outer reaches of space, debris is frequently tossed around. Perhaps in the future, man will travel via spacecraft, something similar to this. Will future space travel mean traveling right alongside Halley's Comet? Perhaps future space travel will entail the use of some sort of a warp drive. Here we are headed towards the end of our Milky Way galaxy. Don't be surprised what you see next. Once reaching the end of our own galaxy, you can see how small it is in comparison to the rest of the universe, where there's thousands if not millions of other galaxies. Please like, share, and subscribe. Video Fit Solutions out. God bless.